Hey, how you doing? This is Martone, owner and trainer of Fuller Fitness, and the focus of this video is about <clears throat> protein. And uh, the interesting thing about protein, whether you are vegan or not, uh, probably especially if you're vegan, I'm not sure. So again, I guess it depends on the person. Specifically, I'm vegan, but <clears throat> the focus of this video is to discuss the amount, <clears throat> excuse me, the amount of protein um, for anyone to get, almost regardless of what their lifestyle is, um, whether you are an athlete, whether you lift heavy, uh, you don't lift heavy, don't work out as much during the week, <clears throat> whether you only do, um, you know, anywhere between one and one and twelve workouts uh, per month. <clears throat> I do more than that, uh, a lot more than that. But uh, again, depending on a person, and uh, the 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 issue, in my opinion, is uh, you know, and again, this is I don't know if it's ne <coughs> excuse me necessarily different. Uh, depend uh, regardless of the person, um, regardless of the lifestyle, as far as protein is concerned, as far as carbs is concerned, that there's a difference there, in terms of how uh, how uh, how many carbs you would get um, per meal per day um, with carbs. With protein, in my opinion, is not. Um, I don't think there's much, if any, difference. Um, and there's not much, if any, difference in terms of what needs to be changed, depending on what you're doing right now. Um, in my opinion, um, a lot of people have heard for decades, so it's, it's not new, depending on who, who you are. Excuse me, I don't know where the hell that came from. Actually, I think I do. But, um... Uh, depending on your age, a lot of us have heard, shoot, almost regardless of the age, many of us have heard that you're supposed to get um, one pound of protein per body weight. And then for athletes and or bodybuilders and power lifters and any of, any of us, uh, the athlete, power lifter, bodybuilder, heavy lifter, whatever, is likely to try to get anywhere between two and three pounds, or excuse me, two and three grams of protein per body weight. In my opinion, that's unnecessary um, to, to put that much protein in your body. Um, uh, same with creatine, if you're taking more than one scoop uh, per day, at least in my opinion, there's no need for it, especially if you take it daily compared to being on some kind of cycle where you do it for three months or so. But as far as protein is concerned, I believe you only need... It, protein is based more on, um, in my opinion, and, and I think a lot more people are starting to have that idea, is it's not about you getting um, one, two, or three uh, grams of uh, protein per body weight. It should be based more on, um, especially this generation, but any generation, but specifically this generation, because we have more information on it, is the to get a certain amount of protein based off of your lean body weight. So <clears throat> whatever amount of muscle that you have, so for me, man, I'm not sure how much I weigh. I think I was like 270 something last I checked. I'm not sure. So if, you know, if, if that's true, and I don't get on a scale a lot. So depending on how much my weight is, if I am 265 or whatever it was last I checked, which was weeks ago. So let's say if I'm 265 
I should probably be trying to get 190 pounds, maybe 205 pounds of protein uh, per day. Um, as far as trying to make sure it's lean, um, the, the, the muscle that I have, not all of the <clears throat> weight that any of us have. Um, so the interesting thing is about putting a certain amount of cre anything, but a certain amount of creatine and a certain amount of protein in your body, whatever your body, what, I mean, certain people should know this by now, depending on how young some of you might be, <sighs> but, um, whatever you put in your body that your body doesn't need, your body gets rid of it. Whether you pee, you poop, whatever it is, maybe even vomit, whatever it is that you, you, you end up doing. If you don't need the stuff that you're eating and drinking, you just pee, poop, and vomit it out, uh, depending on what your uh, situation is. So, again, you know, if you're trying to, you know, if you weigh a certain amount and you're trying to get uh, one gram of protein per, um, two pounds of gram of protein per, um, two or three scoops of creatine uh, per day, um, I believe that's unnecessary, uh, regard, almost, pretty much regardless of what your goal is. And if your body doesn't need it, it'll get rid of it. So do what you need, Get the, and hopefully depending on who your resource is, whether that's me and or others, um, look into it. Do your research regardless of what you read, uh, who you hear from, who you trust, whatever. Do your research, do what works for you, but I don't think you need one gram per body weight of protein, and I don't think you need multiple scoops of uh, creatine. This is Martone, a trainer, Polar Fitness. Take care.